huge. Like, okay, here's my thing. If people like underwater caving or caving in general, like, I'm not going to stop them. I just will absolutely not go with them because I ain't trying to die. I might be claustrophobic. Maybe. Possibly. I don't particularly enjoy small spaces. Ah. R wait, wait, wait. Go back. I wasn't paying attention. I want- I also want a pet an alligator. Uh, Rengad Computing. Artificial Computer Learning, a demonstration of artificial thought and computer intelligence. Cute. Actually, you know what? Speaking of wanting to pet an alligator, I also want to stick my hand in lava. Go, okay, if you, Dr. Florida Man commented, I like to be hugged by Earth trillion pounds of force. Um, just go, like, 20 feet deep in the ocean. It's not trillion pounds. It's, it's not, it's not that much. But you will feel the pressure of, like, the water above you. I literally, I've gone scuba diving twice in my life. The first time I was 12. The second time I was 17, going on 18. And the second time I was doing it to get my diver's license and I burst my eardrum. That was super fun. And uh, that's a story I will tell for another time. But let me just tell you, at the time, I had no idea that eardrums could heal. So I was very upsetty spaghetti, to say the least. That is true. That is true. At 20 feet, you can't use oxygen anymore. You need a mixture of gases. I mean, also, our atmosphere is like a mixture of gases, so I feel like we should probably do that anyway. Because, like, pure oxygen can make you go a little woohoo. It can do things if you inhale it too much. Um, anyway, enough of me getting on a tangent. Let's go back to the video. Uh, brief background. For the past four years, Rengad Computing has been developing artificial computer intelligence using new revolutionary methods. These methods have led to br have give me a second. These methods have led to produce the world's most advanced AI to date. Cute. I always like the idea of artificial intelligence. Uh, this is a test of the in of this intelligence's abilities. We gave it the task of creating an original, intelligible story in the format of a children's storybook. Three iterations of this story will be shown illustrating the creation process utilized by the artificial intelligence. I'm excited. This should be good. Can the car outside please shut up? I'm trying to be scared. Uh, Jack left over the river. Mary to follow together. Okay. Kind of makes sense, but also not really. Travel, follow the secret. Huh? Jack, the river. It is dead. Oh, good lord. Um, maybe don't use the word dead in a children's storybook. I don't know about anyone else. Uh, first iteration test heeds insufficient results, though patterns and story consistency are clearly visible, albeit unrefined. Yeah, it wasn't quite there. It was kind of close, though, especially the first line. Okay, Jack left over the river, starting off the same. Let's go. Mary followed close behind. Okay, better. They are searching for the secret place. Making sense. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. I hear you. No, you don't. Nuh-uh, you don't hear anything. I will literally fight this AI if it says things like that. Uh, intelligence builds upon its previous iteration, utilizing complex wordage and proper grammar and formatting. Yes. I was a little concerned by that last line, but whatever. Jack leapt over the river. Good. There goes Mary down the stream. So far, so g good. The secret place will keep us safe. Is it referencing the bunker in the previous episode? The river flows, but not with water. I don't like that. What does it flow with? 
Is it apple juice? Can I have an apple juice river? That would be so cool. I want apple juice now. Uh, the intelligence seems to diverge from its original path and begins more complex branch of sentences. Yeah, it kind of seemed like that. The river flows, but not with water. I want it to be an apple juice river now. Or like we can just go Willy Wonka and just have a chocolate river. Jack heard it again. Heard what? There is a voice from space. Okay. Jack, do you see me? Okay. I have become something else. Hmm. Somehow I'm just gonna wait. No, don't pause it on the void. I want to pause it on the, the thing, the story. There we go. Okay. Um. I'm just gonna deconstruct this in the way that I think I should deconstruct this. So Jack heard it again. Again, I ask, heard what? There's a lot of things that you are capable of hearing. Uh, there is a voice from space. If anyone's ever seen Camp Camp, are they talking about Zemoog? Because that would be kind of funny. I think I'm supposed to be scared right now. I'm just, I just don't make things scary. I just make them funny. Uh, Jack, do you see me? I have become something else. Wait, hold on. Can I make this into a story? It's like, okay, so this AI is like gaining sentience and it's like, I'm no longer an AI. I'm a human now because what makes a human is a very questionable thing. We don't really have a definition for what consciously makes a human. Did it Detroit become human? Question mark exclamation point. Am I supposed to be scared right now? I think I'm supposed to be scared right now. That didn't happen. Anyway, uh, I'm going to read a couple of these comments because I saw one and I just kind of kept going and I, my brain just forgot. Um, ew, tangent, keep your engineer talk away from us. <laughs> yeah, I do be doing that a lot. And then, uh, I was thinking about blood when it said the river, fl uh, the river flows, but not with water, but apple juice sounds a lot better. You know what? My initial reaction was, oh, the river flows with blood. And then I was like, wait a minute, why have blood when you can have apple juice? Am I a Hufflepuff? Maybe. You'll never know. Should I do the Pottermore quiz? Eventually. Not that I like J.K. Rowling, because I don't. But should I do the Pottermore quiz? How did I get from analog horror to, should I do Harry Potter, po Harry Potter, what? I lost the ability to speak. All right, cool. I, I just keep reading the comment where it's like, I was thinking about blood, but yeah, apple juice sounds pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I will I will absolutely do the Pottermore quiz. I think that would be funny. That would be funny. Fun fact, I've never done it, even when it was like super popular back in my junior year of high school. Never did it. I had a friend who was really into Harry Potter, never managed to convince me to do it. How did I get here? How did I get to this conversation topic? ADHD, look what you have done. Okay. Um, ah, okay, all right, cool. Also, in case it wasn't obvious by the fact that I'm doing an analog horror series, I really like horror stuff, and I'm going to do Halloween stuff, and I kind of want to go to a haunted house and bring a camera and just, like, get freaked out, because I have a really good uh, haunted house by my house. So I might do that. Anyway, let's. I need to stop going off on a tangent. Let's do this again. <laughs> Whoopsies. I make total sense. Oh, it says Regnad. I've been... I am so dyslexic. I've been reading that as Rengad this whole time. Good lord. Alright. I'm doing great, by the way. <laughs> uh, listen to the silver box. I don't like the music that just picked up with it. The stars are moving now. Stars don't move. Kind of. Well. Do you see the hungry eye? Here I am. Are you the hungry eye? Is this what you meant when you said you were something else? You've become the hungry eye. What is the hungry eye? I don't like the implications of that. I don't even know what that said. What is that? 
What is that? What was that? All right. Uh, this video should have demonstrated to you the capabilities of Regnad Computing's artificial intelligence. We hope you have this technology available for commercial and personal use within the year. Cute. I don't want it. You can keep it. You. I don't. I don't want that AI. I don't need no Detroit Become Human. I'm good. We're good. I'm cool. You can keep that.